water that comes in from the pump. Like that. Comes into here. You can hear it going in now. I just turned it on. And then it, uh, well, what I'll do is I'll show you the picture. It's much easier. find no smell. Oh, and you have it uh, vented, that's what the chimney... Yeah, uh, this is the vent. Okay. And then this other line... That's the uh, hot water coming up into these tanks. Oh, oh okay. From the pasteurizer, back from the boiler. from the well comes in there and then there's a, there's a uh, float valve there which keeps the level about here and then the water when it's ready comes down through that lower tube and flows into the solar heater, which is out on the outside of this, uh -huh. and that makes it boil, and then when it boils, it comes up here and goes into the uh, red tank, which is the hot water. And it has only, I just turned it on, so it won't be very hot yet, but, uh, oh, that is hot. Yeah, it's already going hot in there. So there's a pump that's uh, circulating the water? Yeah, the, new, the well is five feet deep, uh -huh. and the uh, water is pumped up into this tube here, and uh, goes into there, flows down into the, to the water heater on the roof, and back up here, hot, boiling, and it goes into this. And then from the red one, then it goes to the... Well, sinks? Sink, yeah. Both, both sinks, yeah. Oh, very nice. And, uh, and this would be just the same raw cold water. And this is pasteurized or sterilized cold water. See, it comes, when this gets full, flows down through there into this so that you have nice cold water. So we've got three kinds of water here. You've got drinking water, hot water, and uh, cold raw water. And oh, the hot water comes off the the comes out of this. Oh, oh, I, okay, okay. And then the cold from the cold is That's from the raw water, and this is cold so drinking water. This is interesting also. Here we have the drain from the sink, and that goes, you have switches, so you can either shoot it out into the gray water system, or you can shoot it in to the, uh, if, a, if, you, if you've got really black water from vegetables and pieces of meat or dishwater or whatever, uh -huh. it should go into the, into the uh, oh. solar chain. But if it's just ordinary gray water, you let it go out and it waters the bushes directly. It's a lot cheaper to have two of these than one double. Yeah, well Isn't these will have uh, water in them I'm going to put, uh, oh, I'm going to put antifreeze in. So they will catch the heat from the sun and radiate it into the room. But I even have a shower in here. Maybe I didn't show you that. It's an ugly simple shower. It's a bucket with holes in it and a 
Hoping that I can open up. Let me uh, lower that down if you want. See that? Pull the string and oh. the water comes out and you get a shower. Is that nice? And you just fill it right here at the sink. You've got hot and cold water there, yeah. so you can get it as hot or as cold as you want. And just let the water run through the floor. Yeah, and it goes mm -hmm. down and into the gray water system. So that's. Hey, is this another. Uh, what, the, the coils back well, here? That is something else. I haven't hooked it up yet, but there's a uh, solar heater there collected in water. And my idea was that I would need that to pasteurize the gray water. But then they changed the law, and now they allow gray water to be used directly into the, into the bushes and trees. So there's no reason for having the pasteurized oh, okay. gray water. Yeah. And the water that uh, we use for watering the garden or whatever is, of course, uh, well water. So that's not, we're not using our gray water on the garden. But we could, you know, no reason why not. Well, why don't I take you around up this way now? Okay.